Hi, welcome to the longest journey studio. I'm Weather Anomaly and today we will look at one of the new features in Ableton Live 9. So Live 9 introduced a new audio to MIDI conversion tool. In the past, when I wanted to extract some MIDI information from an audio file to figure out progression, vocal melody or whatever, I used Melodyne and it did the job quite well for me. It wasn't perfect, but if you knew what you were looking for, it was a huge help. Now, I know that comparing software that is still in beta version uh, with a software that has been on the market for quite a long time uh, is not really fair, but I want to give you just a brief idea what you can expect. So I have the simple piano loop here, uh, recorded for one of my older tracks. Here's how it looks in MIDI. And here is how it sounds. And here's the same loop uh, in the context of a track. First, I will convert the piano loop with Life 9 Convert Harmony to New MIDI track. Right click, Convert Harmony. So now it's done. Let me just rename it. Now I'll transfer the same audio file into Melodyne and save it as MIDI. So we have our melody detected, but what I want is the polyphonic mode to recognize separate notes. Now I'll just save the MIDI file. Close the Melodyne. Now I can grab the file from the browser. And we have our two conversions. Here's how Ableton did. And here's how Melodyne did. Let's listen to Ableton version first. So it's definitely not bad. Uh, if you were in the process of figuring out the chord progression or just wanted to recreate the piano part, uh, it would be a great place to start. A few fixes here and there and it could be quite accurate. Let's see how Melodyne did.
as you can see Ableton managed to recognize a lot more different harmonic content than Melodyne did. Now let's see how they're gonna deal with the same piano but in the context of a track. So again I convert harmony to new MIDI track. I'll just rename the track. And with Melodyne again, enable it and transfer the file. Select polyphonic mode. Save it as MIDI file. I'll close the Melodyne and import the file to my session. Let's see how Ableton managed to convert it. It's actually pretty damn good, it would be really useful. Now let's take a look at Melodyne conversion. As you can see it detected a lot of low end content and it was translated to the higher velocity of the lower notes. However Melodyne takes audio from the channel output so you could easily just drop EQ or a filter and make Melodyne focus more on the frequencies that you want. Ableton takes audio from the clip so you would have to place the filters, bounce the file and then convert it. Both programs offer also melodic mode. Let's take a look at this now. I have an a cappella here, a lot of you probably know this. Uh, it's a track called Jazz Samba and the singer is Hannah Heiss. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova sur The Girl from Ipanema. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova sur un air de jazz samba. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova aux quatre coins de là-bas. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova et crier la la la. Now I'll just right click it, uh, convert melody to new MIDI track. And let's now convert it to Melodyne. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova sur The Girl from Ipanema. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova sur un air de jazz samba. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova aux quatre coins de là-bas. J'ai envie de danser la bossa nova et crier la la la. Normally you would move blobs around and mess with the acapella inside Melodyne, but for now I'll just save it as MIDI file and import it to my session. So let's hear the live conversion first. Um, I guess my 
know that I did a bit better job here, uh, especially that you could easily fix it by splitting different words inside Melodyne and then exporting the MIDI file. Uh, but both tools might be pretty damn useful. The last thing we will take a look at is percussive mode. We have these three drum loops here, let's take a listen. So now we'll just right click it and choose convert drums to new MIDI track. And let's now transfer it to Melodyne. I want to use percussive mode for this. Save it as MIDI. Now I can delete all that and transfer another loop. Percussive mode. Save as MIDI. And again, delete so I can transfer the last one. I'll import all three into my session. Let's hear the original first. And now the Ableton conversion. Now as you can see with Melodyne, you have only a single node groove. Let's see how it worked with the other loop. Here's the original. And here's the conversion. And let's hear the last one. The original. And a Ableton conversion. To be honest, I'm really impressed by this. This is far beyond my expectations. It's just amazing how well it represented all the drums. Now, of course, you can tweak this loop, change the samples and do whatever you want with it. So here you have it, Life9 side by side with Melodyne. For both programs, it isn't perfect, but again, I don't expect it to be. You have to be prepared to manually correct the results after the conversion. For what it is, it's a great feature and I'm sure it will be well welcomed by the Ableton community. And I think that it's just one click option makes it really fast and easy to use and it will most probably integrate into your workflow really well. That's it for now, thanks for watching and stay tuned for other videos, whether anomalies and enough.